How's the old board track? Awesome, mate. Tell us about it. What is it? The board track was full of stuff that wasn't boring and heaps of sand, which was a bonus, mate. Absolute bonus. So we're well instead for the uh, mighty French line, mate. We'll get out there, eh? Go get them. We arrived at the Birdsville pub after riding 150 kilometers through the dark. A beer never tasted so good. We then camped by the river, had a few more beers by the fire. The next day we woke up ready to tackle the Simpson Desert. Sleepy. <laughs> oh, don't be so cruel, mate. Rick's brushed off all the speed. He's still plowing. Derek, let's show us how you do it. Hey Johnny! Another gear! 
Mate, this thing here is just going to not make it. Hey, it's okay, Ricky. Tell me about the first 100 k's in The Simpsons. Fucking terrible. <laughs> Never again. How many? Tell me about your crashes. Four overs. That's all they were. Except that one. That hurt. What'd you do? Don't know. Fell off. That's it, job. Get it off. Yeah. Just tell us how hard it is across The Simpsons. What about you, Darky? Yep, enjoyed the first hour. It was fun. Uh, not so much fun after the first hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's full on. Gotta hang on. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Something you don't want to learn. Tell me about your experience in that last 50 k's, Johnny. Well, that was very interesting. Mind, body, and spirit. <sighs> Pretty hard work. He'll come back. Almost gave in. Yeah. Even at night, he'll come back. Not bad. And thank you for helping. That's what it's all about here. But uh, soft sand. Not much experience, and. Um, Hopefully strong will. Fuck it's hard work, John. We'll get over it. Fucking hard, don't we? We'll get over it. Look at the flies. They love me. Yeah. Yep, so another day in the sand tomorrow. <laughs> fucked up, we've had enough for the day and found this dune where Rick got bogged right fucking there is the action pit. <coughs> we thought, you where's these other water? blokes? Fucking Jono, yeah, you have that. he was fucking oh, laying oh, down oh, on the ground oh, back there. Gobble yeah. was fucking yeah. riding his bikes around there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, How's the fucking... Uh, what a classic. Oh, What's it like up there? Yeah, it doesn't change, just oh, keeps getting sand How far? Out. How far did you go? Oh, I'll probably just been come back for 10 minutes. So what about 20 okay. flicks? Is less? Oh, I, would, I only would have done 10 or 15. Okay. And I chair, had right. a sweep on the side of the track for an hour. Yeah. So I let the sun go down. That way my headlight would be real bright and I'll fucking scoot back. Mm. I get sandy, right? Oh, I must have seen some of the some of the corners up here. They got real, real hard corners like this. When you get your speed brushed off, then you got to think again.
Dalhousie Springs. 100k from the last stop outside of the Simpson on very little water. I've never been this tired, I'm physically tired. Um, and we've just hammered it to here. Hot springs. Unbelievable. Great trip. Not over yet, but that's really physical. Thank everybody for getting me here. Alright Ricky, a few words mate. Done. <laughs> Sleep dog, give me some words mate. Hallelujah brother. Oh, right. How hard was that? Man, that was extreme. That's all I can say. <sighs> Dirky, come on. Oh, that was full on. <laughs> Oh, I loved it, mate. I can go back again one day. Beauty. old DR from uh, coast to coast run we did a few years ago. Uh, it was a hell of a ride that one. Um, <laughs> Bill was down with the flu big time. He lost his voice um, pretty much on the first day. Couldn't couldn't talk anymore which is pretty good because he was pretty grumpy with me for a few things I did. But, um, yeah we made it into Birdsville and Dusty and Krusty looked after us awesomely. Put us up in their flower store, let us sleep with um, sleep with all their flour and stuff in there. The next day we crossed the Simpson and we headed on west and we were way over in... Uh, we crossed the gum barrel and we're heading in towards Mekathara, I think it was. And I was fiddling with my GPS and not looking where I was going, pulling about 70 k's an hour. All of a sudden Bang! I just flew through the air and landed on the ground and I looked, I'd hit Bill. <laughs> he pulled up and turned sideways and I hit him. And um, he was just lying on the ground and I thought he was dead. He didn't move at all and came over to him, Bill, Bill, you all right? He said, I can't believe you just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, um, we, finally, we got it up and... Um, had a look at it and the swing arm bent way out of line and the tyre was rubbing on the inside of the swing arm. So we loosened off the bolts and adjusted one of the snail cams onto full and the other one onto the minimum so that the tyre sitting in there at near on 45 degrees and she wouldn't rub on the swing arm then. And um, it shouldn't have worked but it did and he got it back up to speed, got it back up to about 120. It sounded terrible at first until she ground the steel off the sprocket and <laughs> the new line through. He reckoned it turned awesomely to the left but not so good to the right. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was a loose bit of machinery but he rode it out to Steep Point and um, testament to, to the big set of balls that he had. He wasn't afraid of anything. And, um, yeah. When you went riding with him, you felt that way too. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bill.